All right, guys, Daniel the Adjuster, thank you so much for joining me. And we're here with another training video on how to work Xactimate. I know a bunch of you have said, how do you build a porch roof? Well, we're going to talk to you about that. So let's head over. All right, so real simply, I, originally you're going to have your roof here, uh, your main roof. So you click on drag on that, get your length at the top there. Make sure you change your pitch. So maybe it was an 812 or something like that. So you've got your main roof set up there. All right, so you've got your gable over here on the right side. You, oops, you hit your brake tool, your gable, click and drag. Remember how you have that nice little beautiful gable that was sticking out. Maybe you have uh, one of these little bump outs that are, uh, my mouse is not hitting exactly where it should go <laughs> today. Little three foot bump out, so change your, your distance there. You got this one here. You got this one there. Okay, so we got a little start up here and you wanna put a porch on the front of that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is come over to the roof tool, hit that little arrow and look for a flat shed, okay? The arrow is pointing in the direction of the slope, meaning the bottom, the arrow where it's sitting at the bottom is actually the lowest part of the roof. So if I needed to turn it while it's in that grayish, and it's on my mouse, so I can hit the tab button and I can move it. Okay, so now I could do a back porch. Or if I'm trying to do a front porch, I tab it until the arrow is there and I put it on the front. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll line that up right to, see this dotted line here is the actual house size and the solid line is the overhang. So where I put this is going to be right next to the house. So I want to line that up. So what I can do is I can zoom in so that I can see a little better. And if I had my other mouse, I'd be able to do a little better. But here, you zoom in and you line that up right with the edge of the house. Now, you don't have to be super exact. So let's say I can't get exact, I just go ahead and click it. Okay, that's gonna drop it. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna change this overhang. So think about it. This roof here has got an overhang around the whole thing. I want to click on that one line and make that overhang go away. I don't want an overhang next to the house. Okay, so now I can also then move that, drag that if I want to, get it exactly next to the house. Uh, it's totally up to you. Um, oh, it's just one of those pet peeves. I kind of like to have it right where it's supposed to be, but sometimes it doesn't work out. All right. Yeah, so there. Drag your porch out. Well, first of all, you got to change your slope. So most porches are going to be either a 312 or a 412. So this is set at four. Let's leave it at four. And then you'll click this out and drag out to your porch to where it's supposed to be. Now notice this is kind of overlapping the roof here, which doesn't seem right. And the reason why it's not right is kind of coming to a 3D. It's put it at a different elevation. That's not where it should be. Okay. So what I want to do is I click on it and see that little triangle. You guys see that little triangle there? I hold that and that changes the elevation of where that roof line sits. Okay, so see how now I can lower it down to where it's gotta go. Okay, same thing goes here. We got that overhang. We wanna make sure that, you know, we got the overhang right. Sometimes they'll, they'll overhang onto this roof line here. Okay, and then adjust your length of your porch. Normally they just tuck right around the corner. This one normally tucks right around the corner. Oops. It is kind of finicky sometimes when you do these things. So then I would come back to my 3D version, drag it around and just kind of check to see how things look. See if it's what it looks like when I get a picture on that uh, photograph, then I can pull it up and I can actually look to see, does this thing look like it did in the drawing where it had a little bit of an overhang here? You know, is, it, is the height here right? Were well, there are two stories there, one story? And then uh, but the 3D really helps that because you now you can kind of look through the house and go, yeah, that looks like that, right? And that's your porch. Same thing goes if I was building a back porch, okay, on the same house. Now, I've already drawn the front porch and it's at the right elevation. I can just click on it, copy, which is control C, and then paste, which is control V. Wow, there's that roof stuck to my mouse. Then I hit that tab button, 
Okay, I can spin it around. I could do a, I could do the left side if I had a little porch over the left side. I could do the right if I had a little right porch. And as far as the back, I can do that. So I click on it. I can drop it in. Normally, they're about 10 or 12 feet. So this one, I'm going to do 10, 10 feet wide. And this one happened to be uh, 12 foot on the overhang. Okay, so maybe that didn't work. Or maybe it did. Let's see. Yeah, so then I pull this here, drop it where that porch is normally, which is on the left side there. And you adjust it a little bit more so it's closer to the edge of the house. And then I can hit my 3D button, pop around. Oh, look at that, it changed the pitch. So that's real important to notice that, guys. Here, it looks like it's fine. So then I just go ahead and hit my properties tab and hit four, and boom, it changed. Now, it should also change its location because I thought it didn't look right when I put it down. It didn't seem like it was long enough. Okay, so you just re-adjust it, come back to your 3D, double check, and there's that little porch, and we're all set. So guys, a little quick fix on how to build porch roofs. I uh, hope that was helpful. Daniel the Adjuster, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.